Hey everyone and welcome to another Pokemon card video! This week we're going to be opening an X and Y booster box. It's been a few weeks since I've actually done a booster box, so for any of you who have not uh, seen me open one of these, the way I do things is I do it in four parts. There's 36 packs, we'll do nine packs a day, and this week we're going to play a little game with it. So what I have here is of course I have the, uh, the three little plushies from X and Y that we've... Uh, well, had with us for the past few weeks, and I've got all the card sleeves over here, so what I'm going to do is, since we're doing four parts, I'll sleeve all the first part cards with uh, Chespin, uh, second part will be Froki, or Fennekin, third part will be Froki, and the fourth part will be our trusty orange sleeves, and we'll see which uh, sleeves have the most good cards at the end. I think that'll be fun. Also, you guys might have been able to hear, I am trying out some different audio. This time I actually have, I'm gonna have to take you guys off the tripod for a second to show you. But I've actually got a microphone on a boom arm right here. This is my super old Samson C03. I've had that for a long time. It's what I used to use for my main channel videos and my gameplay videos as well. But I, I messed with it a few months ago, and you guys seem to like it, but I just didn't have the second boom arm to put it on. So I'm going to go ahead and rock that. Let me know if you guys like it, and if you do, I'll stick with it. I'm just kind of worried that I don't have a pop filter on it, because the pop filter would get in the way of my vision. So I'm hoping that there's not too many poppy sounds. But let's go ahead and get this plastic off of here if I actually can. Gosh dang. Well, there's the back, by the way. There's all the stuff. These are some of the cards we can get inside there. There's not going to be any Charizard action in this one since Flashfire, the next set, kind of has lots of Charizard. Gosh dang, I really can't get it open. There we go. This you guys sitting here watching me open plastic. It's That's what we do. We just hang out sometimes and, you know, have a good time. You know what, plastic, you can chill back there. You know what, the plastic, they can be they can be the owner of the fourth the fourth video cards, the orange sleeve cards. So, we'll see if Plastic can outdo all the other guys. So we're gonna go ahead and count out nine packs here. Oh my gosh, I just love opening up a booster box and getting so many card packs. But we're gonna go ahead and do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's gonna be our video for the day. Let's set these guys back here. Get in there. There you go. All right, so these are the pack arts. We've got a Mega Blastoise, Mega Venusaur, Evil Tall, and Xerneas. So let's go ahead and get started with things. We're gonna start off with a Venusaur. Gonna get down to our good angle here. Get all focused in. Let's get going. Probably the longest intro I've had to a booster box. Sorry for making you guys wait to get to the card openings, but sometimes I get sidetracked. So I will be giving away all the code cards for the entire box, 36 codes. So if you guys happen to play the TCG, maybe you can grab one of those. Oh my gosh, starting off with the Dunsparce right here. Nice. We've got a Braxian. Look at that little pep in her step. Gosh dang. Just stepping out like that. We got ourselves a Del Caddy. Looking pretty happy. There's a Fennekin, a Rhyhorn, Panpour, as well as Ekans, a Fletchling. The reversal of graphic is a Fletchender to go along with that Fletchling. And the last card, oh my gosh, starting off with the Mega Blastoise EX. Holy crud. Was that even a Blastoise? No, that's a Venusaur pack. But it looks like we got ourselves a great pull right on the very, very first pack. That is awesome. That is a good start to this one. That's a really awesome card. Let's see what number he is. Number 30 out of 146, so a pretty decently sized set. I'm really happy to see that one. So this is the Chespin video, so that's going to go inside a Chespin sleeve right here. Feels like it should go in a Froakie one, but... Oh well. In you go. Let's put him right over here. Froakie's kind of on that side. He's a little bit behind the box, but oh well. Alright, next pack is going to be the X and Y. Well, they're all going to be X and Y. Oh yeah, I should, I should mention, with this booster box, this will officially mean I've opened at least one of every booster box from the X and Y series. This is the last one. It's kind of funny because this is the first set that came out for X and Y. This is the base set, but it's the last one I'm doing. Until next month in November when a new set comes out, of course, but we'll do that one too. Here we have a Diggersby. There's a Shauna. Did I give away the code? I'm pretty sure I did. We have Illumize, Chespin, Fighting Energy. There's a Swirlix, Phantump. Oop. We got a Lillipup right there, as well as a Reversal of the Graphic Sableye and a Malamar. So not going to get the back-to-back -back on the EXs, but that's alright. Starting off with the Mega Blastoise. I'm hoping to get Venusaur because even though Blastoise is awesome, Venusaur is my number one uh, favorite starter pretty much of all time. I really, well not all time, he's second. My favorite, actually I don't know, I don't know who second is. My, my favorite is Trico, straight up. Froakie and Bulbasaur are kind of competing for second and third though. Uh, here we have Cassius, there's Evo Soda, Quilladin. I always thought Quilladin was kind of funny looking, it's kind of round, kind of reminds me of... Uh, Sonic for some reason. We've got a Taylor right there. There's Timber, Pikachu, Dark Energy. We've got a Weedle. Ooh, we got a Delcaddy reverse holographic and a B Barrel. Kind of chilling. I don't know what is he grabbing onto that little pink grass. He's like, hey, 
Is he grabbing onto the card frame even? He's kind of grabbing onto that. He just likes grabbing stuff, I guess. Next up, we got a Xerneas pack right here. I personally prefer Xerneas over Evil Tall. I don't know, usually when there's a blue and a red version, I normally go for the blue version, and in the case of X and Y, that happened to be X. Although, that is not true for Gen 3, and Gen 3 I actually prefer Ruby over Sapphire, but for the most part, I usually go for the blue version. We have Electrode, Hard Charm, Double Colorless Energy. I wish that some of the theme decks came with this. This would have been so useful when I was playing online, but oh. Another energy right there, a Steel Energy. We've got Inke. There's a Slugma. Pants Age. Star U. Reverse holographic is a shelter alongside a cloister. Look at that combo right there. Pretty nice. Now, a lot of these X and Y cards I actually have opened before, so that's why I'm going a little bit quickly. Normally, when I do a booster box for the first time, I'll slow things down, take our time to look at all the art, but most of these cards I have opened because even though I haven't done a booster box in particular, I have opened a lot of packs from this set, but uh, I will definitely take time to look at uh, some of those rarer cards. Got a Girder. There's a Team Flare Grunt, Dewblade, Psychic Energy, got a Staryu, Doe Duo. Ooh, Pumpkin Boo, that's kind of a cool art. It looks like it might be, yep, from uh, Five Band. They tend to do most of the 3D art, so once you see those ones with the 3D look, it's probably them. We've got ourselves a Jigglypuff singing into that flower. Another one of these bee barrels, that's actually a Reverse Holographic Rare. That's our first one of those, I believe, so pretty nifty. And we have a Holographic Aromatisse, nice! So we got a Reverse Holographic Rare and a Holographic in the same pack. Pretty sick. Let's go ahead and sleeve both those guys up. I don't always sleeve my Reverse Holographic Rares, but might as well today. Why not? Let's get that guy sleeved up as well. Throw him back there. All right, we still got four packs to go. I'm pretty sure I counted out nine. Been going through a little bit quickly, but that's all right. Got to make up for the, the long intro, right? So there's that. I feel like a lot of these cards kind of have like a little bend to them. You can see they're ever so slightly. It's very, very minor, but they're ever so slightly warped uh, this way. But that doesn't really matter. Honestly, warping and bending doesn't matter that much because once you sleeve them up, they'll tend to straighten out. Usually the things you're going to be worried about as a collector are things like scrapes, bends. Uh, bends as in like a, a crease. Stuff like that. But the actual warping, not a big deal. Here we have a Croc Rock. There's a Muscle Band. Another Illumize. Very nice uh, Zuru. I really like that art. Oh, we got that Sui Art Venipede. The Taylor from before was also a Sui Art, but I don't know. Just love him. Got that adorable Skitty right there. I think I fought a player that was using this when I played online. Uh, we got a Fairy Energy. There's a Diglett. Oh, look at that. Reverse holographic Rare Trevenant. Pretty sick. I'll even take a close-up on that one. He's looking quite menacing. And unfortunately, it's just past October. Halloween is just behind us. Otherwise, that would be very appropriate, but oh well. And we also have a Simipore. So we're just going to sleeve up the uh, Trevenant here. Get that dude. Chest been sleeved up. And put him back there. Onto another evil tall pack right here. Yeah. Here we go. I don't know. I'm always so excited to open booster boxes. Even though I've opened probably a dozen of them at this point. There's just something so exciting about going pack to pack to pack. When you get all the other things like the tins and the figure boxes, it's cool to get all the collectibles. I love those collectibles, but sometimes you just want to go through tons of booster packs, and booster boxes are pretty much the best way to do that. We got a Muscle Band, there's a Whirlipede, Cassius, Panseer, Haunt Edge, Spoink, Ponyard, Jigglypuff, another Spoink, one of my favorites, and he's super cute, Reverse Holographic, and a Scolipede. What exactly is Scullypede meant to be? He kind of reminds me of that, like an alpaca or something. Like a, a scorpion alpaca. That's pretty much what I think of when I see Scullypede. Maybe he's meant to be something in particular, but I have no idea. There's another code card. Second to last pack right here. So we've got one really good card and one holographic. Nothing too crazy after that first pack, though. Let's see if we can recover from that. We've got a Dodrio. Ledian. Wow, I like the art on that a lot. It's very dynamic. Do they have... I was going to say, if they have dynamic punch, that'd be funny, but they just have mock punch. There's a Great Ball, a Rhyhorn, Panpour, Ekans, Fletchling, Shelder. Ooh, Reverse Holographic Rare Malamar. So we got the regular rare and the reverse one for that. Pretty sick. And a Conkeldur Rare. <laughs> Look at that move name. Oh, he actually has Dynamic Punch. Too bad Lady didn't have that, but they do have Wake Up Slap. Pretty cool. All right, let's leave up the Malamar. Kapow. We have one pack left to go. This one is, of course, Blastoise. 
Yeah. Yeah. Gosh dang it. Sometimes they don't want to open. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to do the careful, careful tear right there. Oh, oh, well, it doesn't really matter if it's pretty. I just want it to be open so I can show you guys the cards. And I, I just want to look them at, look at them myself too. All right. Last pack of the video. Starting off with some roller skates. One of my favorite features from X and Y. I love that you can actually move in 3D with those. Another Dunsparce. We started with the Dunsparce. Now we got a Dunsparce in the last pack. Does this mean something good's coming? Oh, Brax, we had that in the first pack as well. There's a Sand Dial, Diglett. Oh, another Jigglypuff, a different kind. Got a Shelder, Phantump. Reverse of the graphic is a Girder. And the last card of the video is, yo, we got Skarmory EX. Very nice. Starting with an EX, ending with an EX. I've already got a Skarmory EX, but that's all right with me, man. I'm always happy to get some EX cards right here. So we got ourselves a second one. Let's go ahead and sleeve that up, take a close up on it. Looking real nice. It's so cool to see Skarmory getting some love with this set. I was really happy when I saw that they had a card in here. But there you go, guys. That is the last pack of the video. So I guess we're going to call things a day here. This this is the polls for Chespin. We got ourselves the Mega Blastoise EX, Holographic Aromatis, three Reverse Holographic Rares, and that's Skarmory EX. I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow, and we'll see what else we can get. Take care.